Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. We are about to feed our geese and ducks and even chickens. And they're so noisy, they're so noisy that they're really anticipating for this breakfast. I would like to tell you that for the next couple of days, we are expecting to have hundreds of ducks that are hatched by this uh, first batch of our produce. The main content of our video today is about the miniature chicken. Yes, you heard it right. This is called the Bantam Chicken. So we will feed this one and then we will go to the boathouse and you will be surprised, the smallest chicken in the world. For the meantime, we will feed all our animals here. Our chickens have produced plenty of chicks already. And as of the moment, we have 21 newly hatched chicks of this native chicken. And I'm so happy about this development and many others are still laying their eggs. Our ducks as well are just laying everywhere. You know, my style here is to follow their instinct. I already have mentioned this one. And uh, you know that the instinct of the ducks are actually looking nest in the bushes and they will lay eggs there. So they have the capacity to make nest and then lay their eggs and this is what happened. We only started with a few, to be exact, one great with three hen of these ducks. And now you look at them, there are already plenty. And some of them are already in the field, they are looking for their food but they will come back here in the afternoon. You look at these grated coconuts, these are the bread and butter of the farm. So they will not go far because of this food that are available. And I'm so glad to tell you as well that we have produced thousands of tilapia and also we have produced thousands of catfish. And in our last video, we made a mukbang of this catfish. It was uh, so exciting activity. Mmm! So crunchy. Mm. And in the future, I would like to invite our visitors to come here and personally experience feeding our animals here in the farm.
Well, our rabbits are already big and there are more than a dozen of them. Actually, to be exact, we have 28 rabbits right here and they're doing good here inside. There are some big already and there are some that are still small. But then, our intention here is to produce rabbit mitts. See? And these rabbits will in the future become our materials for breeding. And there are fancy rabbits like this one, this lion head. And they're so cute. <laughs> you see that? It turned into a lion-like rabbit. <laughs> and uh, we have also the lion loop and the Californian breed we have here. So we are still looking forward to more development for the year 2024. And you will see that the rabbitry, the goat farm, the ducks, the chickens, the hito, the tilapia, and one thing more, this miniature chicken that is very aggressive and very exciting to watch. So come on, let's go to the boathouse and we will have a short update about what we are going to do in the boathouse. Come on, let's go. As you know, we are doing business about raising our, you know, pets. And you know that we have this pet store. And as you can see here, we are embarking again another type of business, which is to produce bantam chicken. And they are not the ordinary bantam chicken that we can see in the market. They are the miniature chicken, the smallest, and they are called Serama Bantam. And I am so thrilled because these are pricey. So now we will get this uh, rooster here. Okay, this is just six months old rooster. And you will see the beauty of this miniature chicken. I really am fascinated about the characteristics of the Bantam. You know why? Because they are a strong and big chicken in a small chicken's body. They don't have insecurities. They are so brave. And it's my advice that if you're gonna raise this kind of chicken, you're gonna have an exclusive place for them because their spirit is so brave that they don't think about their size. They don't think about their capacity, but they are so brave that they think they are big. So they don't have this insecurity. And this is what I like with this Bantam chicken. And you look at the hand here. This hand is just very small. And you look at this. You look at my palm and this chicken. See? It's smaller than a dog. You see that? And they are so adorable. The way they behave, the way they act, the way they make sounds. I am so fascinated. It's my advice that if you're going to feed them, you will not feed them with a dry pellet. You will feed them with a pellet that's ready soaked with water because they don't have this uh, big throat to swallow pelletized uh, food. And you will see now that they're eating. And one thing more that I'd like about this Bantam chicken is that they're very less expensive in terms of food. Because you look at their size, they will just eat small amount of food. And this is the reason why I would like to embark on a major scale about this Bantam chicken. I still have to collect some other uh, breeds like the Rosecomb, like this uh, Silver Sea Bright, this Golden Sea Bright Bantam. There are many. And this is the start now of our collection. I would like to make an update about our superworm. And many of us, what's the name of this? Well, these are mealworms that you can do research also. And uh, this is the process now because we have this trainer in order to get them out from here. And the, you know, the waste of this worm is actually now the fertilizer. This is very great fertilizer that we can use and we can also sell this in the market. Of course, we have to dry this first and then we can use this to our plants. So the reason for this is to get the waste out of this uh, container, we can put another beddings, of course, so that they will maintain the dryness and they will not die. So this is the process. That's the best thing to do on a regular basis 
when you are raising the super worms. And you will also note that in the future, we have to make a pelletized worm. We have to dry this up mixed with other ingredients like the soya, the corn bran, and then mixed with the dried worm. That's a very delicious food and nutritious food for our chickens and even ducks. So we have to put another bedding and this is the rice bran. This is much cheaper. And for the beddings, you can use many alternatives like the oatmeal, the pellet, but I prefer to use the corn bran. And you have now the fertilizer and this is an organic fertilizer and it's very costly. You can sell this at 100 per kilo. And this is very effective, especially if you're planting um, vegetables. Well, this uh, organic fertilizer is really the best that you can use. With these updates, I am so glad to tell you that for the year 2023, we have done so much. And we have done actually great things. And we are sharing this with you in order to inspire you and to start your own. And if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading very informative and very challenging videos. And I would like to see you in my next video all here at Dexter's World.